Hello world, it's Almond Milk again, and I have returned with another challenge video for this Pico Gym Workout series. This time we're going to be solving Nice Net Cat, and I'm already up in my Kali box because Net Cat is a Linux command. So let's go ahead and start with this challenge. This is general skills category, 15 points. There is a nice program that you can talk to by using this command in a shell ncmercury.picoctf.net and then a port number, but it doesn't speak English. All right, so it gives us the command we're going to use. nc is the netcat command. Netcat is a utility that you can use to read from and write to a network connection. Oftentimes it's used to listen to like a, a, a server for like incoming and outgoing connections. If you establish a successful netcat connection, you can actually run commands depending on how the other system that you're connected to is set up. So let's go ahead and uh, connect to this. We won't type it out, we'll just copy it. All right, so we got a bunch of numbers seemingly here. These are clearly decimal numbers, so I'm willing to bet that we can just convert these from decimal to ASCII and get the flag. So what we're gonna do is Having them out line by line like that isn't ideal. Okay, let's pipe the output from our netcat connection into a command that'll let us basically remove the new lines and have it all, just all the numbers spaced out like we want them to in one line. So once again, let's run our netcat command and then let's pipe it into TR, which it stands for translate. And basically we're gonna do tac D, which is for delete, and we're gonna delete the new line. Now, I don't remember if this will put spaces in between each entry after the new line is deleted, but I guess we'll find out in a second. Okay, actually, it printed out just like we want it to. So we're going to take this, copy it, and we're just going to go quickly to a decimal to ASCII converter. Ah, here we go. We're going to paste this into here. And there we go. There's our flag. Pretty easy challenge. Nothing too complicated. Just getting you familiar with how to use the netcat command and how it works. Uh, we use netcat and we connect to this domain, mercury.picoctf.net. And the value after that is the port that the challenge is hosted on from that domain. So let's go ahead and just put in the flag. And we grabbed 15 points. All right, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed the content. Please like and subscribe if you want more content like this. And we will see you in the next video. Take care.